hello everybody and welcome to Flog Plays and Reviews, Zotrix. This is a game from Zero Bit Studios. I got in contact with them through Twitter and I said that their game looked really, really cool and that I would love to do a video for them and they graciously sent me a preview build. Now obviously this is a preview build for the press only, so this is not a game that you can readily go and get from their website, but what I will do is I will link you to their website in the description below and if you like the video and you think that it's it looks like a game that would be right for you, why don't you go ahead and vote for it on Steam Greenlight? I already did because it looks really really cool and it reminds me of a lot of cool space shooters that I used to play in the arcade. And uh, you guys will definitely see that as we kick ourselves into a brand new game, Mars. It took us decades to come here. And a couple more to build our base and start terraforming. Mankind was on the verge of conquering planets. And then, out of nowhere, they came destroyed everything. That's kinda cool. We suspect they travel through universes using some kind of space jump technology. Our priorities have changed. Now we know for sure that we are not alone. Search for this alien intelligence, or whatever it is, continued in following decades. With rise of intelligent machines, we managed to send a space station into deep space. To start building a network, it will serve us to explore the universe. As the best recruit in class of Starship Commanders from Solar Division 2, you're invited to secure cargo routes between our stations and protect them from threats. Good morning, Commander, and welcome to Osron 7. Alright, so we are in Osron 7 Station, which I guess there's going to be little hubs and stuff like this as time goes on. And uh, over here to the side, obviously, I have five missions that I can select. There are two boss fights and three missions. Um, now, there's also an upgrade system, which you have to get resources in order to upgrade your stuff. And your resources, obviously, are over here to the side. Um, you can trade resources. I'm guessing that there's going to be a multiplayer function to this game where you're able to trade things. Uh, or maybe this is more like a store where you'll be able to trade uh, what you have as resources uh, in for better things that you can add on to your ship. I can imagine there's going to be a lot of customization for the add-ons and stuff like that for your ship. There's also a big map. The map shows you like which ones of the stations there are. Uh, there aren't... Uh, I, I, you can view the data, but right now there is only the Osron 7 station. So obviously there's a lot of stuff here that, uh, you'll be able to explore. The game will be huge, I can already tell. But we'll go ahead and do Osron 7 to Arban. Now I'm going to play one mission. I'm going to try it out and see if I can't get to the end. And then I'm going to try one of, or, uh, I might try one of the boss fights. Or I might just try one of the missions just to show you how the controls and how the game looks and everything. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit the start mission button and we will go ahead and jump right into this. Right. As you can see, I can move with the blasted keys. That allows me to move my ship around in free space. Uh, if I right click, I shoot out little bombs through the back of me. And if I left click, it obviously shoots the laser or uh, gun in the front. So the, uh, the things coming out the back of me, uh, while also acting as explosives and stuff like that, can create a buffer zone, kind of, for things shooting at me or coming at me from a different direction. It also helps me basically build up my, my score and stuff like that, because this is very much a score-based uh, thing, because I believe your score is also your resources or your credits. I'm not too sure what those are. That might be your credits. And either way, you're going to need credits and stuff like that in order to buy things and everything as well. So obviously there's nothing shooting at me right now. Uh, there are little ships, but obviously I think these are mostly scout ships. 
Uh, and so there's not a whole lot of stuff going on right now. Um, I would definitely recommend this game if you are a fan of these kinds of games, but also if you're a fan of, like, FTL. Because basically what these guys have done is they've been able to combine the idea of, like, asteroids and stuff like that in the old arcade, and they've been able to combine that with the idea that you can customize your ship kind of like uh, FTL. So if, you've, if you're a huge fan of FTL, then you can be like, oh, well, I understand ship customization, and I think that that's really cool, and yeah. So I think that these guys have a really cool, unique idea, and uh, that they they definitely deserve a vote on Greenlight so that they can get this game out to as many people that would like to play it as possible. Also, like I said, this game reminds me of a lot of the times when I used to go, and I know I've said this before in a couple of my other videos when I used to go to the arcade a lot, and I used to uh, play games and stuff like that all day. Um, but, you know, the thing about that is, is like, I'm actually kind of sad because a lot of kids aren't ever going to get to experience, uh, you know, going to an arcade because arcades are kind of disappearing and everything. And uh, I know that they've got stuff like Xbox Live Arcade and stuff, but that's just not really the same. Uh, and anybody who is older that can remember that it will would agree with me that I'm that uh, I'm guessing that they would agree with me. I mean, it's a lot easier now. I mean, you can check your leaderboard and stuff like that without having to go to the arcade, and you can see if anybody tried to beat you. Uh, and see how close they got to you. But, you know, I don't know. There was just something about, you know, being like, oh, can I go to the arcade today? And, like, checking to see if your high score is still there. And, of course, you know, the whole idea of, of like, giving your initials as ass uh, is something that I believe uh, will never change because I believe that that's still very much going on. Only now I think that they also do other curse words and stuff like that. I know, um, I know I recently did go to an arcade, and, uh, somebody had, like, put their name as, like, D-I-X, and I was like, oh, well done. Well done, sir. Yeah, the only time you would ever really put your real, uh, thing is, like, if you got a really good high score, and you really wanted people to know that that was you. It's like, oh, that was me. Hell yeah, that was me. All right, I'm trying to, as you can see at the top, there's like an energy bar. That's how many hits that your ship can take. And then there's obviously a number off to the side there, and that's like basically your lives and how many lives you have left and stuff like that. And I am not doing very well at all. Not doing very well. Oh, crap. Okay, let's, let's attempt to get rid of some of these bullets. I'm trying to like fan, basically. And if I fan, then maybe I won't get hit by as many of these things. Uh, where, yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, well, I just flew right into that because I am an idiot. So, uh, now this is almost about as far as I have gotten. Uh, I get a little bit further than this, and then all of a sudden, uh, I lose completely. So, but I'm just trying to give you guys kind of like a first impression kind of thing of this kind of game so that you guys can, you know, especially if you guys like these kinds of games, if you know that you like these kinds of games, then it's definitely something that I would recommend um, to go and do because there's not a whole lot of games like this that are out there that I have really enjoyed as of recent. Uh, I've played a couple, uh, but it's it's very, they're very few and far between when it comes to, uh, like, fun factor and not just kind of, ah, oh, crap. Well, that's what happens when you fail a mission, guys. It just tells you that you failed your mission. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try that one more time. I think i got enough time to uh, give that one more go uh, and see if I can't beat it. Um, and uh, one, once we're done with this, though, uh, I'm going to go ahead and probably give it, a, give it my final look. Uh, I could look at one of the bosses real fast, I guess. So I'll probably go and do that real fast. Um, cause I'd like, I'd like to see you guys understand, like, exactly what you're gonna end up with when you, uh, fight a boss eventually in these games. I don't think I'm ever gonna get to that point, uh, normally, so I might as well try a boss fight now. I love playing these games. I got really good at them in the arcade when I was a kid, but, uh, as of recent, I've lost, apparently, some of my reflex skills, and so... 
I also uh, have problems talking and uh, reviewing at the same time. All right, there we go. And I, I, I don't like doing like uh, like pre-recorded video, and then I like doing live commentary because it's it's more like spur of the moment kind of stuff. You never know what you're gonna say, and so you always want to record yourself talking. But yeah. But I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Nice. Alright. So yeah, like I said, there's like a cool little ambient soundtrack and stuff like that to this as well. And it, it's uh, it's really just an interesting... Uh, I don't know. Like, as you can hear in the menus and stuff like that, where it's a little louder, uh, the soundtrack has, it has a lot of really like interesting... like. Uh, techno-y kind of aspects to it but then as soon as you get in game I think it's more focusing on the explosions and stuff like that you can turn down uh, independently the uh, SFX and the music as well so if you want to hear the music over the SFX all you gotta do is just turn down that volume um, alright let's try to fan out do some of this I'm gonna poop out a whole bunch of missiles see if I can't get a buffer zone between me and these guys and then I'm just gonna keep doing that as I go all right all right now obviously as they hit stuff they blow up as well or they blow the things up but they don't blow up so that's always a really cool thing um, so that like you don't have to wait for them to explode if they hit something then they're like okay well there you go okay Alright, so I was actually able to get through that without a whole lot of trouble. Now comes the real trouble, though. Um, okay, maybe not. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll be, maybe I'll get lucky this time. And I'll try desperately to... Nice, okay. So maybe I can actually, like, get to a point where... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. All right, so a couple of them hit me. A couple of them hit me. So I can't really, can't really say that it's going to be a perfect run, but it, it might be better than as of recent. So, all right, all right. Now there might be. God dang it. Okay, there might be a limit to how many I can shoot out without my computer having a seizure on me. Um. Now these guys are firing little twos at me, if you guys can't tell. Alright, let's try to spin around in a circle and try to get... A, I'm trying to get a buffer zone, so that way I can kind of fire out more of these uh, things and get rid of these guys before they're able to actually shoot at me too much. Because these guys are a pain in the ass, especially when they fire bigger bullets and stuff like that at you. Um... Uh, so, yeah, if I can, if I can just, oh, 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 all right, there we go, all right, whoa, 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 no, 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 let's not, let's not do that, let's not do that, guys, let's not do that, come on, come on, guys, you know you don't want to hit me, come on, all right, let's try to, let's try to get rid of some of these, oh, God, you gotta be kidding me, it's just all these bullets! Yeah. Screw you guys! Maybe I'm shooting the wrong way. Like, maybe maybe I should be shooting these guys and blowing those guys up. I think that might have been what I was doing wrong. Um, Alright, let's... let's I, don't know. I don't know. Maybe Maybe we'll be able to do it. I'm gonna give it my best shot. And then, like I said, if I can't do it then I'll just throw it on over to a boss fight real fast, show you guys what that looks like, and then I'll go ahead and give it a final go, or a final verdict. Oh, goodness. Get away from me. Okay, there we go. Holy crap. Okay. All right. Yeah, so there's obviously a challenge going on here, uh, and that's always cool. I'm glad that there is a challenge here but it is very difficult. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of difficulty to this. Ah, oh, crap. Let's just, let's just do our best to 
shoot out as many of these little butt missiles as we possibly can. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Get away from me. Bullets. Get away from me. Alright, there we go. Alright. Whoa! Oh, crap. Okay, well, I let that one hit me. Uh, but I hope that I'm able to... As you can see, you can see the ship that you're supposed to be protecting right there. And so, that might... That, that's a really cool thing. I don't know if I mentioned that, because I've kind of forgotten what I've said. Oh, crap. All right. All right, I'm trying to I'm trying to like focus and stuff like that. So if I stop talking at random intervals, it's not because I I am uh, ignoring you guys. It's because I don't want to die. I want to be able to give this my best shot and actually be able to beat it. But man, th this is going to be really tight. If I'm able to do it, this is going to be really tight. Ah, crap. Well, okay, I think I gave that my best shot for right now. Uh, I might come back and play more of it uh, later. Uh, for right now, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'll give you guys one of the boss fights uh, just to kind of show you what's going on with the boss fight. All right, so this one kind of looks like maybe... Okay, so you have to destroy the outer stuff to get to the inner stuff. And it looks like it's just it just split into two, so that's really nice. Let's try to shoot a bunch of these things at it and see what happens. Now, obviously, there's... Whoa! Well then, okay. I can handle that. I think we just destroyed the bigger boss. Okay, so maybe maybe the boss fights, uh, for me, since I now know that this thing is in existence, uh, maybe... Nice, okay, so these guys kind of home in on you and stuff like that, so that might be a bit of an issue for me. Uh, especially if I let one of them pass, so let's try not to let these guys get near me. Oh, crap, that's going to suck. Yep, that's going to suck. That's going to suck. Okay, 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 yeah, okay, that might do it. Uh, let's throw out a couple that way. All right, annihilate, annihilation. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh crap. I might be able to show you guys some of the, uh, the upgrade stuff if it's been implemented into the game as of yet, if I'm able to beat this. So maybe, with a little luck, I'll be able to show you guys exactly what's going on. Now, I, I believe that I beat the big boss, so I'm guessing that these are all just the little guys that are supposed to like come in and like protect it or something. I don't know. I'm trying to like throw them out as many in, a, in like a circle around me as I can. I'm trying. Okay, there we go. There you go. Just go out, go out my butt missiles and destroy. All right, there you go. I don't know when this ends. I don't know if maybe I glitched it by destroying the boss beforehand uh, or something. But, uh, so far, haven't been able to stop. Um, I do have a pretty big score for a boss fight, I'm guessing. Um... I'm just gonna keep throwing these out. Just spinning in a circle, throwing out my butt bombs. Okay, they've stopped coming now. Yeah, we did it! Okay, so it took me about three minutes. Uh, I was able to, com oh, 99, so I got some credits, and it looks like I got some iron and some nickel.
Alright, so I've got some credits and stuff like that here. So maybe I can see some upgrades. Or maybe not. Maybe it hasn't been implemented just yet. But obviously, uh, that's how you collect your resources and stuff like that. But we're going to go ahead and I'll go ahead and back out to the very main menu. And I will go ahead and give you guys what I believe is my final verdict for this game. Zotrix is an incredible uh, amount of fun for the, for the kind of game that it is. And obviously, it's a throwback to a lot of old um, uh, arcade-styled shooters exactly like this. If you liked asteroids if you like games like that where you're able to kind of free roam around the screen but you're also having to shoot things all over and if you like a really good challenge then i would definitely play so tricks i would definitely go and uh, give them a click on green light and tell them that you would like to see a full version of this game um, obviously, like I said, this is a preview build, so this might not be representative of what the final product will be, but obviously, if it is, then I'm going to be all for it. I've already voted for it. I hope you guys vote for it as well, because these guys definitely deserve your guys' uh, like votes and everything. So uh, definitely give the uh, website below a click, and then click on that green light if you really want to vote for it. Uh, but this has been Flog Playing and Reviewing Zotrix. Thank you very much, Zero Bit Gaming, for allowing me to do so. And remember to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching that video. Click in the upper left to subscribe and then check out Among the Sleep. I got my shoe. I'm going to use it. After that, check us out on Google Plus and Twitter for all the new updates for the channel. And then check out Portal we 2. Gotta shoot the red one. I believe. So here I go! Also, make sure you click on the Brain and Behavior logo so that you guys can understand the charity drive that we're doing. Thanks, and goodbye!